Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set custom ringtones on your iPhone without paying, without using a computer, without needing to use GarageBand and this is all with the new iOS 26 update and now it's super easy and you can do this on the iPhone 17, 17 Pro or older that have updated to iOS 26. Let's get started. All right, so I've got my iPhone ready to install and download some ringtones here, and I do have iOS 26 updated and installed. If you haven't, there's a card here. It'll show you how to update your iPhone to iOS 26, and once you have done that, you can then download and install ringtones. So to kick things off, let's just open up Safari here, and you can see this website, zedge.net. Make sure you put that in, in your Safari on your iPhone. It opens like this. Don't click get the app or anything like that. You wanna click those three lines and you wanna tap on browse now. This will open this page and you wanna continue in browser. Once you're in this section here, you can start to search for different ringtones that you might want. So for example, you can search here and type in Halloween ringtones and we can hit search and it'll pull up a whole bunch of different things here first off you can see wallpapers but if you scroll down it'll pull up ringtones notification sounds and you can tap on them on the little play icon to play it so for example this one and if an ad pops up just tap close at the top don't click anything else look for close or an x at the top tap on that it brings it up like this tap the play and it'll play that ringtone or text tone. If you wanna download it, you can then download at the top here. You don't wanna click any of the other options. The ad will pop up. Sometimes it tries to trick you by saying download here or click here to install or whatever. Just wait for this time to run out. And once it's done, then you'll get the proper download tab. Now it'll pop up like this and you tap download. Once it does that, you can see it's up here in Safari or it could be down here, depending on how you have your tab set up. You can tap on it and then tap on downloads and you can see your download right there. You can then tap the search bar and it'll open it up where it is, which basically it's in the files app. So you can see it right here for me. However, if you wanna locate all your ringtones at another time, look for this files app. So look for the downloads option here. You can tap on it and it'll open up that page. So we got the Adams Family text tone. I also downloaded the Halloween movie ringtone. So for example, let's tap and hold on that Halloween one this time. When we do that, you can see these options here. What we want is the share option. We tap share and now we have a dedicated use as ringtone icon here that will allow us to add this ringtone to our iPhone library of ringtones for free, and it'll automatically put that in there. You don't need GarageBand anymore, you don't need a computer, and you don't have to pay for it if you use apps like Zedge. So now that it's there, we can then just tap on it. You can hear it. And if we go back, it takes us to our sounds and haptics page. So just to show you how you get there in case, for example, we're gonna open settings, sounds and haptics and this is where you can access your ringtones text tones and things like that so if i open ringtones there's my halloween movie theme now anytime someone calls me it'll use that halloween theme as my ringtone we'll go back now to files i'm going to set the text tone so if i tap and hold here and i tap share again it's asking me to use it as a ringtone which is fine we can tap on that it's going to pop it up in the ringtone section and it'll automatically select it. We don't want that as a ringtone because it was a text tone. So I'm just gonna go back to my original one. I'm gonna hit back and I'm gonna go to my text tone. Now you won't see it at the top, but if you do scroll all the way down, you do have ringtones here, you can tap and there it is. So now I've selected that one for text tones and that one for ringtones. Now one quick iPhone tip you can use with ringtones and it'll allow you to record your own ringtones is to actually use voice memos. So look for that on your phone. It'll pull up your voice memos here. You can then record anything. So play a song, record it. And if you record it under 30 seconds, so I'll just test it out. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. We'll just do that. I'll hit stop. We'll tap the three dots here and we'll tap share. Again, if we pull upwards, you can see we can use it as a ringtone. So now new recording, whatever I called it there, is available. If I tap on it, And that'll give you that ringtone. Again, you can use those in all of these sections. So even if you wanted it for your reminders, just pull all the way down and it's under that ringtones tab. That's how we used to do it in the 2000s. We would actually record our voicemails and stuff like that. So it kind of brings back that effect. But that's another option if you don't want to use the GarageBand method or you don't like the ringtones on Zedge. Now, coming back to Zedge here, I just want to show you a few things. Sometimes you'll see that icons have a little crown those are paid you do need to have uh, i guess a premium membership and also these little ones with the coins those ones are not free you'll have to pay for those so you want to find the ones like i did here in ringtones which gave me the halloween soundtrack and so on based on my search now if you do have your own music on your computer or wherever you need to transfer it to your phone you can use airdrop you can do whatever you want anyway but you want to get it into that files app that way you can do the same process now one thing to keep in mind for example i have this song here if i tap and hold on this and i tap share and i tap use as ringtone you can see i'm getting an error it's saying choose a ringtone under 30 seconds and because this is a full song in that case, unfortunately, you will have to use a software like GarageBand to trim that down, and then it'll allow you to use it as that ringtone. If you want to learn how to use the GarageBand method, it's just a longer process. It's not very hard. A card right here will show you how to get the ringtones and then shorten them or compress them down so that they fit as ringtones on your iPhone. And then also you can then turn longer files into text tones as well using the GarageBand. But that is the simple way now that you can download and install ringtones on your iPhone for free. Again, you need iOS 26 and you can use any website you want. I'm just recommending Zedge because it's been working through the years. I have no affiliation with them at all. I just use them for my ringtones. And if you follow the instructions the way I showed you here and don't click on all these ads everywhere, they're free. Otherwise, look for your own way of downloading music and then add them as ringtones on your iPhone. If you have any issues, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. I also have a full playlist of great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you get the most out of your iPhone. So if you're looking to get the iPhone 17, 17 Pro, and so on, I'll be showing you how to use all the cool features within it, like these ones right here, giving you cool backgrounds and icon changes and things that you can do so if you're interested in that subscribe to the channel click the bell notification box and like the video it helps me out and as always i'll see you in the next one